Hello, in this video, I am showing you how you can reset your Valiant EcoFit Pure boiler, and then hopefully it'll start working again. Now this reset is slightly different to some of the other Valiant boilers, which is why I've made this video. I will also cover the more commonly found reset on Valiant boilers. I'm also gonna go through two common fault codes which I come across, which is the F28 and F29. And I'm gonna go through a couple of checks which you can go through, which may be causing the problem. Towards the end of the video, I'm gonna go through three reasons why these fault codes come up and then what you should be doing before you call an engineer. And if you do need to call an engineer, where you can find your local gas registered engineer. If you're a gas engineer, or whether you just want to know what the fault codes mean, then at the end of the video, I've included an instruction manual with some photos of the fault codes, which tell you exactly what the faults may be. But just bear in mind, the fault codes only point you in a general direction, and sometimes they're completely wrong. So don't always rely on the fault codes. My name is Mark Ballard, and I've been a gas registered engineer for over 20 years. The aim of my channel is to help you with your central heating and your plumbing. If you're new to my channel, then don't forget you can click subscribe that way you'll get a notification the next time I upload a video if you do find my video helpful in any way then please give me some feedback by clicking on the thumbs up that will also help others to find the video and of course share the video with your friends and I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who's left a donation in my toolbox fund it's really appreciated and it helped me to make more videos which will hopefully help you now let's get on with the video and show you how to reset that boiler in the description, you'll find all the links which I mentioned in this video, plus lots of other helpful links. So here we go then, this is the boiler. Back in 2017, I replaced the old boiler with this new Valiant EcoFit Pure, and it's a 418. Now the boiler's been working absolutely fine. Whilst I was doing the service, I thought I'd set a couple of common fault codes so you can see how to reset your boiler. Because the EcoFit Pure's reset is slightly different to the other Valiant boilers. Now you can see the display is a little dark and it's hard to read, but if we push any one of the four buttons at the top here, the display will light up, making it much easier to read. Now you can see in the display, it says F29. The F29 fault happens when the boiler is operating and then the flame goes out for some reason. The boiler will then try to relight several times and then it will go to a lockout and stop working. To get your boiler working again, you need to press the reset button. At the bottom of the control panel, you'll see a round button and a picture of a flame with a cross in it. That is the reset button. Now we need to push that button and hold it for five seconds and wait for the display to change. When you see the word reset come up in the display, you can then release the button. The display would then change and say loading as it restarts the boiler. Once the boiler is finished loading, the display will change back to its normal operational state. If you have a different valent boiler, all you need to do is to locate the button with a picture of a flame crossed out on it. You just need to push the button once. There's no need to hold the button for five seconds. You then need to test the boiler is working properly. Just select the central heating or hot water, turn that on, and then look for the radiator symbol in the display. After a short time, you should see a flame appear in the left-hand side of the display. Once that flame has appeared, the radiator symbol will then start flashing, indicating that the boiler is now heating up your central heating or your hot water. You should also see the temperature start to rise in the display. If the flame doesn't appear and you get another fault code coming up like this F28. Now this F28 indicates that the boiler has tried to light several times, but it's failed to light and now it's gone to lock out over the F28 fault. All we can do now is to press the reset button again and then hopefully the boiler will start working. If it doesn't start working, then we can check that the gas is actually turned on. You can do this by going to another gas appliance in the house, like a gas hob or a gas fire, turning it on and making sure you have gas there. You can also locate your gas meter and then make sure that the emergency shut off handle hasn't accidentally got knocked off. If you have a prepayment meter, also make sure that the credit hasn't run out. There is one other place I will check to make sure the gas has not been turned off and that's underneath the boiler. I've only come across it once, but I did come across it where this valve had been shut. And all you've got to do is make sure it's in line with the valve like that. 
After you've checked that your gas is actually turned on, you can then go back to the boiler and check it again for operation. If the flame doesn't appear in the display, then I'm afraid there's not a lot you can do. If it just goes back to lockout, then all you can try doing it is pressing the reset again. And if that doesn't work, I'm afraid you're probably going to have to call an engineer. To help us engineers write down the fault and exactly what the boiler was doing, also any sounds or noises which it's making when the fault occurred. That way we'll be able to diagnose the fault quicker and get your boiler up and running again quicker. As promised, here are the fault codes that are listed in the maintenance book. You'll see that the F29 and the F28 are both ignition faults, but the causes are quite different to each other. Hopefully you are able to pause the video and then zoom in on the fault code that you are interested in. I've also included the rest of the fault codes which are in the book. Just bear in mind, fault codes point you in a general direction. Sometimes they can be completely wrong, so you can't always rely on fault codes. I'm often asked, is it okay to keep resetting your boiler? Well, that really depends on what fault code is coming up on your boiler. Most modern boilers these days will go into that lockout situation when the circuit board inside the boiler detects that the boiler is not working correctly. There are generally three reasons why boilers go into a lockout situation. The first reason is to make you go and physically look at the boiler and see what's wrong with it. And it will not operate until you look at it and press that reset button. The second reason is for safety. So the boiler will detect that it is not working properly and then it will go into a lockout situation to prevent it from working and keep itself safe. The third reason would be to protect itself. So if your boiler runs out of water, for instance, you don't want the boiler running with no water in it because it's gonna damage itself. So the boiler will turn itself off to protect itself from being damaged. Having said that, not all boilers will turn themselves off when they run out of water. So if your boiler does keep going to lockout and you have to keep pressing that reset button, then maybe you should think twice because you might actually be damaging your boiler. Think about calling an engineer. If you need to find a local gas registered engineer, then I've left the link in the description below, which will take you to the gas register. The gas register holds all the UK gas registered engineers. So you'll be able to find a local genuine gas engineer who should be able to help you out. Right, that's about it then. So I do hope my video has been helpful to you. If it has, then please give me some feedback by clicking on that thumbs up. That will also help others to find the video. If you want to know more about your EcoFit Pure Boiler, like how to operate and what the most efficient settings are, then you can click on the link here, which will take you to my video on how to operate and the most efficient settings for your boiler. I'd like to say a really big thank you to everybody who's left a donation in my toolbox fund. It's really appreciated and it helped me to make more videos, which will hopefully help you. And of course, don't forget you can share the video with your friends. And of course, click that subscribe if you want to see more help videos. That's about it then. So bye for now. And I'll see you next time.